Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Melody from Baker Leg and Let's Dig at Homestead, and just wanted to show you what I've been working on. This is my not so glamorous um, grow shelf. It's just a plastic shelf. I used it last year, and I wanted to show you what I have going on. So we'll start at the bottom. Uh, this is one rack that has some um, containers like this that are all washed. Could really use some more of this size, to be honest with you. Um, and the rest is basically trays that have the slits in it. So can't really water my plants that way or it will run out the bottom, but they're all washed and cleaned. These two, I get these cups from my friend. Um, he puts the holes in it. I will show you right there um so i started setting that up and then i have two 72 cell count trays on this shelf with some red solo cups which i will explain and then over here january the 10th i started some broccoli and some seeding mix which i don't usually use and we're going to see how that goes it's the only thing that i planted i have a water bottle from home depot and some fish fertilizer food but this is so beat up. This entire tray is so beat up. So is the dome. But I love this dome. You can't really find this size dome um, anywhere. So it's beat up. It's been taped. But guess what? I'm going to use it again for this season. Um, I don't really care for these types of domes. But as soon as your ceiling comes up, you take this off. This is just higher. And I love it. I hope that you're seeing this because it is super sunny and blue skies here and I don't want it to in interfere with the lighting. On the top shelf, I have the pea pot seed tray that I'm going to use for rooted vegetables with two other ones and um, the red solo cups. Okay, let me explain this. I'm going to plant my seeds in 72 cell count. Um which I will have a video coming out on that. What am I planning in January? So far, it's only been broccoli and it's not even up yet. And then once they're big in here, they will go into this size pot. My friend gives these to me with um, the holes already in them. He drills them in there for me. So I just have to finish filling up that one. So though the ceilings will go from this into that. And depending on spring's weather, um, as long as we don't get like a freeze or frost like we did last year, I will then go to red solo cups. And this is my setup. I wanted to show you it's nothing glamorous, but everything's cleaned, bleached. The shelf is bleached. Um, this is the light. This light is from Home Depot for $19.99. Um, it comes with like, it's a girl's lamp. It comes with like pink, purple gray like white type of shades just took the shades off and put just some grow bulbs on there i got these two i don't have them all on i got these two home depot and then jay found these two and i'm only short one the reason why i like it is because you can push it up you can adjust it you can bend it and that literally is a girl's lamp for her bedroom and that is what i have my grow lights in um so yeah I got this all done yesterday. I had to lug the tray up, well, the shelf, up from the basement. Um, I'm going to do the same process that I always do. If you go back into previous videos, I used half of my patio door to help with the lighting um, for the plants. So there's the setup. It's nothing fancy smancy. Um, this thing was outside, inside. It had jars on it down the basement. Uh, now the jars are in a pantry closet, but this is the setup. I wanted to show you, like I said, it's nothing fancy whatsoever. So you can very well do this in a section of your home. This is in the dining room. There is the freezer box and I have it like halfway to the window. Um, the light is plugged behind the freezer and this is going to be my setup for this growing season. So I wanted to turn on the camera show you what i've been up to and that is getting the gross shelf with all the pots and trays everything cleaned if it was old and some of them are really old i may need 
probably four more of these pro hex starting trays but i just wish i could find some of these dome lids like this i don't even remember where i got it but it's nice and high and big and i love it it's even missing the little air thing probably through the move but that's okay and it turns at the top this thing's been taped i mean reused and we are going to reuse it again so this is what my grow station looks like i'm getting ready to start um, getting some seedlings planted and i have a video on that of what am i growing in january but i just wanted to show you that anyone could come up with a system like this um, it's affordable it's not expensive if you're using um, older trays wash them out with hot water you could use some soap some vinegar i just scrub them out with hot water and that's it um, the other ones are new there's like one two three four five that are new and i actually need like two more it's crazy um and that's the lamp from home depot you can go online check it out um it's a girl's lamp for her bedroom and i stuck some grow lights in there so the only thing that i did on january the 10th is plant some waltman broccoli it's still not up obviously i just spritzed it i bought this bottle for two dollars and like 29 cent at Home Depot so I can spritz my little plants. And there you have it. That is Big Leg and Let's Dig It's Homestead's um, grow station, my setup for this year of planting all my plants. So nothing expensive. Like I said, anyone can do this and just wanted to turn on the camera and let you see what I worked on all day yesterday. And I thought today that I would record it. So I just have to finish. You can also use styrofoam cups if you don't have these trays. Um, you can use ceiling soil if you want. I mean, I did for the Waltman broccoli. And to be honest with you, I never used um, like a seed starting mix. And I kind of didn't like it. Um, I stay with what works. And there it is. And that is a, I think it's a 50 pound bag for $14.99. I know a lot of people don't like it. I do. I'm just going to stay with what works. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So what I have left to do is grab one more bag of this potting mix. Um, I need to finish putting um, these other cups into the, these types of trays. Thank God I have them. Sometimes if you go to like Home Depot or Lowe's, when they put out all their plants, they will have a bunch of these that they're going to throw out you can just ask them if you can have them so two more of the 72 cell count um pro hex trays definitely going to need some more red solo cups because if i get started early they are going to need to be transplanted and you just put the holes in the bottom of the cups i've done that already and like i said if you can't afford the trays which are like five dollars um i've gotten two for four four dollars they were like five dollars dollar off four bucks um but if you can't afford that you can plant your things in styrofoam cups make sure you put two holes on the bottom use a permanent magic marker and write what the seed is in there so that's just a quick little you know informational of how i do it and i'm using the back door for extra lights along with the grow lights that is on so that you could see it um, as soon as those broccolis pop up i will turn that off and well i will take this flimsy lid off and that's why i like this lid so much more but there you have it there's my setup for 2021 gardening season it's affordable it's cheap um, anyone can come up with something like this um, and it's a way for you to grow inside your house um, I figured I would do a video on this because I have a friend of mine who is going to get into really gardening this year. She's never grown anything inside. She just directly sows, but she doesn't get like a full pepper. And here you go. Here's the video that I promised to show you how you can grow um, your seeds to get a head start on whatever your growing zone is. Um, you start them earlier in the house so that they have more of a chance 
to reproduce food that you can eat, store, and save. So this is my video today. It's my little growing station setup. Um, nothing fancy smancy, folks, like I said, but it works. It's worked for the last two seasons. This will be the third, and we will see how things go. I will keep you posted, and I will have a video that's coming out on what am I growing in January. So stay tuned for that. God bless. I love you all. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're into gardening and baking and cooking, you're at the right channel. You may want to think about subscribing. Um, please leave me a comment. I love interacting with everyone. And yeah, thumbs up to the video. And I will definitely come back with a little update um, you know, once things get rocking and roll, rocking and rolling and show you how things are doing. So there you have it. There is Melody. In case you don't know me, my name is Melody. Welcome, welcome. Um, but this is my grow station for gardening season 2022. It's affordable, it's doable. And I thought that I would come on and show you how I've done it the last two seasons. This will be my third. So God bless, smash the like button, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye everyone.